Hi there, everyone, and this is your January twenty twenty one love monthly forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy dot com. First and full foremost, I want to greet you guys a happy, happy, happy New Year, and it is my hope, wish, and desire that you have this year of twenty twenty one be your best year ever. Filled with much love, happiness, and great joy, much better than how it was last year, of course. Now to celebrate this, um, starting this year of twenty twenty one for the month of January, I am doing a very um, highly detailed and in depth reading for each and every every signs out there, basically, wherein I am doing a combination of the tarot. Uh, to give us more of uh, flavor and you know give us give us a more detailed storyline on what might be the energies that could be unfolding for each and every signs out there so just to give us a more uh, a lot more detail a lot more insights and confirmation throughout the reading and I'm also going to be adding in later at the end of the video, uh, so a combination and housing system of the Lenormand cards all at the same time. So, you know, we get the most uh, information out of the readings for this month of January 2021. As I believe that every January, it gives us a flavor on the important themes that might be occurring for us that sets the tone for the rest of the year. So, um... If you are interested to know more on what might be manifesting, what could be happening for the month that could that could re really wrap things up for you for the entire year, then please continue watching and don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as that will really help me greatly and it's very much appreciated your support to the, this channel for me to continue making videos like this for you guys in the future all at the same time so don't forget to tune in with me for the rest of the video to know more so um yeah without any further ado let's just get started hi there sagittarius sagittarius sun moon and rising sign this is your january 2021 love monthly forecast reading with me chrissy from in the stars by chrissy.com so um <laughs> before we get started i just want to say that this is a general reading however this can be very specific and very detailed um depending if you are resonating with the reading or not. So I would advise you guys to check in to your situation and use your own intuition as we go along with this. Because um, since it is a very specific reading, it is very highly detailed all at the same time, um, it's not going to be for each and every Sagittarius people out there. So that's going to be the downside. The good side here is that if you're actually resonating with a reading, this might just be the reading specifically done for you. So um, yeah, um, just like what I say to each and every readings that, you know, um, take in what resonates and leave the rest behind. However, the overall energy might be something that can exist um, throughout the month so i would advise you guys to take in the keywords that i keep repeating all throughout the video to give you a, a general idea what to expect as well so um without any further ado let's just dive into the reading we're starting off with the empress and the queen of cups that represents you and your own energy which is actually a very uh, very good energy if you would ask me this is about you um, having a lot of plans in life there's a lot of things that you are desiring right now or you could be actually a magnet of getting a lot of um, manifestations or you are at a point of your life where in your intuition is also very strong um, you're actually entering a positive mindset as we enter 2021. Uh, it is being crossed over by the strength card, which is really telling us that, you know, you're getting uh, a lot of support from other people and 
you yourself are getting stronger. So it could also be a situation wherein you have more conviction or more confidence with uh, life itself, or it could be with your relationships. Everything is doing well. Um, you are attracting the people that uh, want to enter your life. Uh, I don't really see any form of issues. Um, there could all be a situation here wherein you could be very much complacent with your own life. You know, you don't really take into consideration of being cautious with other people. You don't, you're basically at the point wherein you're not, uh, thinking negatively and that is actually a positive trait what i mean is um you're not uh you're not at the state of being uh overly thinking of whether someone is doing harm on you or not so it is that point wherein you're not really protecting yourself uh not thinking negatively about someone is actually a good thing. It's just that, you know, you are... I just kind of feel that maybe you are at the point of your life or in you are trusting people a little bit of too much. Um, yeah, so that is basically what I wanted to say. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with what you're doing. It's just that you're trusting people a little bit too much. So you could be very much complacent with the people around you. It could be with your friends. It could be with your partner. Um, so I would say that instead of being complacent, uh, you have to use your own intuition whether the situation or happenings in your life are happening in a positive way or is there something fishy going on. So you need to be able to discern uh, which is which that is happening for you right now. Um, next card, we that's what I mean with the High Priestess and the Four of Pentacles basically. With the, the Fool card and the Knight of Wands, this is something that has already happened in the past. Maybe there is someone who has entered the scene of your life. This can also be a new beginning of sort or some form of offer had came in. So, and this is, you know, basically, this is actually a very positive um, point wherein, you know, things are so perfect in your life for some reason you feel that everything is proceeding in in a very smooth manner of things at the very least that is how it was um in your past however i kind of feel that maybe uh, for some of you your intuition is kicking in like you are you're sensing that something is wrong for some of you because we do have a lot of intuitive cards over here so it is possible that you have been complacent with how you deal with relationships, but for some reason, you are sensing intuitively that something is amiss. So we are having that High Priestess, that Queen of Cups energy, and now here is your thoughts into the situation. We do have the Five of Pentacles and the Hermit card all at the same time. So maybe there is a uh, happening in your life or a relationship or an offer of some kind that needs to to proceed uh i don't know you know it could be a business or it could be an endeavor that you guys are planning and then suddenly you just want to take that to a halt you know maybe you are at the point of your life where and you need to think you know is this really something that i want is this really what i want so there's a lot of reflective energy happening here so um there's a lot of things that that needs to be taken into consideration so what you thought was going in very smoothly before suddenly um are having some form of issues you know it could be something that you're dealing in with yourself or there could be a situation that is um happening in the back scene or um, behind closed doors that is making you feel that wait something is wrong or it could just be your um, subconscious mind or unconscious um, energy um, like telling you that uh, it's like you know it's that nudge that is knocking on your door or um, some form of messages that's coming into your head that hey something is wrong you need to take 
take things very carefully. You know, you you cannot just trust this person. You cannot just go ahead and say yes. So there could be a situation like that or something similar that comes along with this month all at the same time, especially since we have here the near future card. Position where which is the three of pentacles and the three of swords, so this could be a situation wherein some form of communication might um might end up in a very frustrating manner. This could be a uh, contract breaking, or uh, some form of clash can happen when it comes to a um a communication or a teamwork. Suddenly falls apart. That is highly possible for some of you guys in a love relationship situation. This is also、uh, a point wherein maybe you're not happy with the relationship that you are in now, or you could be a situation wherein you feel that it's not really exciting. Like I said, there is some form of complacency. So maybe it is something that doesn't really give you that much joy. I mean. Everything is okay, but it doesn't mean that you want to keep it that way. I don't know. There's just an energy here that that might be, you know, suddenly changing, changing the situation of your relationships can happen.、Um, this can actually also be be related to divorce. This could be related to breakups.、Um, Because of the existence of the three of pentacles, I kind of feel that this might be having to do more of divorce, or this can be a situation wherein you know, if you have a business、um, proposition or contracts, there could be a falling out with that. You know, a group, a, a group scenario, a group.、Um, A group promise of some kind suddenly falls apart, or there could be some form of disappointments, or、um, some form of misunderstandings can come into the air. So that's really the most positive part in that. It is something that is happening in the near future, so you need to、um, not be very impulsive. I just kind of feel that there is a possibility that this all happens in a very surprising way, you know. It's it's like you're getting caught off guard with this. With the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Cups, this has an element of confusion into things and can really, you know, the plans that you have set for yourself gives a halt into things, like I've mentioned earlier. Uh, this can also be a situation wherein you might be desiring and wanting a lot of things to a point wherein you're not really able to to take action and do them because you know、uh, there could be an energy wherein a lot of people are giving you information, a lot of people are giving you different kinds of ideas to a point wherein it's all confusing you and. Be- And making you very paralyzed into a situation, and that becomes much more true because of the justice and the tower card. Now, now you know. You know, if you are aware with tarot, you would see where I am coming from when I was saying that this could be some form of business or some form of divorce that can occur. It can also be related to one-on-one. Relationships because of this three of swords and the tower card, and then we're talking about the justice. Justice is really having to do with relationships, with contracts, something that's legal and official, that kind of energy. So there could be a falling out, falling apart with that, and that can create a lot of frustration in you. To be honest, and、uh, we have here the devil card and the eight of pentacles. This is you know. I feel that this is a situation wherein、um, what you really, really feel, what you desire to do, is not going to stop you from from whatever decisions that you are going to make. The devil card gives power into things, and the devil card is basically a point wherein you cannot avoid what is going to happen. It has that form of energy. If something is already in the works, you know, 
maybe this relationship is already at the point of falling apart there could be a circumstances wherein you know this all just happening in the way that it should so it could be something that's quite fated it could be a time to say goodbye to a relationship or um, a decision needs to be done to walk away on certain things now as much as possible i don't want to be negative with this it's just that we are getting here too much of um of energies and influences that gives us a feeling that you are going to walk away to a relationship especially since we have the lover's card and the eight of cups it can be a temporary kind of thing because eight of cups are usually temporary but we do definitely see uh a break over here uh, a break or a pause on a relationship that is definitely going to be happening and going to be transpiring over here so it could be something to do with a friendship relationship it could be a business endeavor um but it's going to be you know an important aspect of your life that needs uh reconstruction i would say uh, so there's going to be destruction and reconstruction all at the same time with your personal relationships it also feels as if you know this is a situation wherein you are not you, you have been i'm not really sure if i should say that it has been very special to you because i kind of feel that this is a relationship that has been um, not doing well recently i mean it's okay it is a relationship that you have kept in your life but it it's a relationship as well that has been um, I would say deteriorating or something like that and and for the month of January it's just gonna come to a close so I would say that this is a, a point wherein there could be conflicts when it comes to relationships some form of frustration and a and finally a lack of compromise can occur which can create some form of setback into the situation making you feel disappointment or uh, this could be just a point wherein you are going to feel and think that, hey, I need to reassess this relationship all over again, you know? Maybe what I thought before is not really what it seems and I need to do a reset or reassessment into this because of all of this restriction and you will end up thinking that <clears throat> um, it's time to think. It's time to think whether this relationship should be continued or not um it has that form of energy now let us see what we have with the lenormand card what we are seeing here we are seeing here the relationship itself um and it could be a relationship um that has been built uh, through a friend or it could be a scenario that happens in a um in a party or maybe in a gathering of some kind uh when the fish and the garden card comes up this could be there could be some form of situation where in drinks are involved so there could be a blow up with that i mean i'm not really sure another card of discovery we're having here and then we have here the tree and the sickle which is the scythe so you know cutting the foundation into things so um, we're basically just getting the confirmation of what we have foreseen and another scythe card in the mountain so this can be a situation where and maybe a relationship situation is becoming more troublesome than you have bargained and you are going to come to a point or um, maybe this is already a solution for you to remove obstacles or remove the problem itself uh, into, the, into the relationship for some of you maybe the solution that you might come up with is to remove the relationship itself to remove the problem so it really is going to depend um, uh, depending on the situation that you are really going through with the demand card and the tower card over here this is actually a, a very good example of singlehood you know someone is going to get single again and this could be something that's really happening to you personally or something that might occur for someone else that is close to you maybe you know 
it could be a situation wherein they might be experiencing this all the same time. Um, this can also be a situation wherein, you know, yeah, this is definitely not a relationship type of reading. Um, this is a this is really more about someone coming from relationship or having some form of connection to people to being isolated to being single again. So I'm not saying that that's going to be happening to each and every Sagittarius people. That's just not possible. Like I said earlier, this is a very specific reading. So um, a breakup can really happen and someone suddenly becoming single or um, a divorce can happen or um, being freeing yourself from responsibilities and burdens can actually happen as well. Maybe you are so fed up with all of these emotions that is bogging you down, giving you a lot of burdens in your life, and you you just want to um, start everything on a clean slate. So um, this could be the month for that. Again, not for everyone. This is going to be specific for maybe a few people. I don't know. Um, only you can actually decide. So uh, whether you are in a relationship, single or married or no matter what you're going through, it can actually be something that is happening in your work life, in your career life. It doesn't have to be in a relationship itself. However, one way or another, you are handling with relationships in general, whether it is uh, a work situation or a friendship or some kind there is going to be a part of your life that needs to be changed that needs to have some form of goodbye um, for you to really move forward and it's going to be something that's going to relieve you making you a lot more lifted a lot more happier because um, there are things in your life that has been stagnant and maybe you have been afraid in making the decision before uh, for whatever reason, it could be that you are only afraid of being alone. Uh, it could that is really possible. However, you are now at a point of your life wherein you feel that you need to do this, not just to maintain the status quo, but it is something that's also going to be beneficial for you. It's going to be making you happy in the end. So it's actually a very important part of your journey all at the same time. So, um, yeah, <laughs> so not really the best reading, but it's actually a perfect time for some of you as you venture along to 2021 in an overall clean slate. Uh, this will alter the course of your life, definitely. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. If you do want a more personal reading just like this one or something more specifically done for you, like I said, this is a general reading, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the starsbychrissy.com. And I shall see you guys again next month. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button if you do want more videos like this or something similar in the near future. Goodbye.